Chers auditeurs, Dear listeners, bonjour. Welcome in Comme d'Archi Podcast Season 3. Saison 3 dans le monde fascinant des architectes. And in the architectural projects. Je suis Anne-Charlotte de Ponte, passionnée d'architecture et docteur des universités en histoire de l'archi. I am one of the spokespersons of Anne Charlotte, who is a PhD in architecture history. Merci. Thank you. D'être avec moi aujourd'hui. To be with us today. Et and maintenant, now, lundi en français, place au talent. And Wednesday, let's talk projects. In English, of course. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Dear listeners, good morning. This is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. It's a pleasure to meet you again in season 3 of Comme d'Archi, episode 73, with a brief presentation of the famous French office 234 and above all, this architecture, urbanism and landscape agency's own story about their winning and emblematic project of the Aquatic Center for the 2024 Olympic Games. Atelier 234, a French urban landscape and architectural design agency, brings together 12 partners and a hundred of collaborators. Deux Trois Cats projects emerge out of a careful analysis of how contemporary life constantly evolves and is renewed. Made to ensure social, urban, functional and cultural questions, each project is the opportunity for a study that makes it unique in terms of sustainable development, landscape, typology, solicited for well-being to users or construction system. Atelier 234 believes density is the major component of the city. Their expertise on the permeability of buildings allows such an alchemy to transform density into intensity. Just as the glass blower, Atelier 234 buildings take their form from the inside. Like cloth, their envelopes protect without restricting movement. Like a landscape, they change over time. The partners provide their expertise as architect advisors to the state or teachers as well as in professional forums. They regularly participate in professional press galleries, workshops or conferences. Focus on the CAO project. On the 13th of September 2017 in Lima, the International Olympic Committee officially chose Paris as the host city for the 2024 Olympic and Paralympic Games. The Games of the 23rd Olympiad, gathering 26 delegations and approximately 15,000 athletes, will be held from July 26 to August 11, 2024, with the Paralympic Games held from August 28 to September 8, 2024. The Aquatic Center is the only major facility that will be built for the 2024 Paris Games, since 95% of the dedicated sites are already in place or will be temporary. Situated on the former site of the NG Research Center, the location of the Aquatic Center was selected for. Its strategic proximity to the Stade de France and the future athletic village, its excellent access by car and public transport, the intense dynamic of urban renewal underway in this sector. The Métropole du Grand Paris is the client for the Aquatic Centre regarding construction, development, upkeep and operations of major cultural and sports facilities of international or national stature. It is also the client for the adjacent pedestrian overpass that will cross the A1 expressway and link the Aquatic Centre to the Stade de France. Construction of the Aquatic Centre solves five major challenges enable the organization of events of a national and international scale, be a model facility at the service of high-level athletes, facilitate access to swimming and learning how to swim, develop sporting activities for city dwellers and promote the practice of sports, ensure a highly exemplary environmental character. Located in the heart of the Zac Plensonnier, Joint Development Zone, the purpose of the Aquatic Center is to become fully integrated with its environment through this development project of metropolitan interest. The legal structure chosen is one of concession. With a duration of 20 years, it will cover the design, construction and operation of the Aquatic Center and the pedestrian overpass. May 15, 2020, the Métropole du Grand Paris awarded this concession to the group organized by Bouygues and which includes the architects Atelier de Trois Quatre Paris and Van Hoven CS Amsterdam. 
The Atelier 234 and Van Hoven CS partnership grew out of the passionate encounters of two associate architects, Cecilia Gross and Laure Merriot, which led to fervent exchanges on shared values in their thinking about projects and the desire to exchange their evolution and innovation-enhancing visions and practices. From this initial encounter, they developed a strong desire to work together on large-scale projects and to take full advantage of their complementary skill sets to create a European team of innovative, ambitious, multidisciplinary and high-performance architects. Architectural Concept The Aquatic Center has been designed to host exceptional events such as the 2024 Olympic and Paralympic Games, but most importantly to become a major public facility open to the region. Its design relies on innovative principles of ecological building which make it an exemplary project. The Aquatic Center and its pedestrian overpass blend an urban strategy with an architectural gesture to advance the ecological and environmental economy. It creates a facility combining a global aura with its integration into the metropolitan landscape, breathing new life into the district of the Zac Plensonnier. The project faces many challenges. To advance the values of Paris 2024, to be the most sustainable games in history, to be positioned facing the Stade de France, the largest sports arena in France, to be part of a historic area in the midst of a mutation. Thus, it represents the first step in the process of a new neighborhood being created. Anchored in the landscape, today it is destined to write a new page in its history to the benefit of a sustainable, lively, open neighborhood initiating social and economic dynamics for the Plaine Saint-Denis. The raised aquatic stadium is placed at the same level as the Stade de France. This sports facility serving as the platform opens to public spaces in the Zac Plaine-Saunier. A broad ramp extends along the building from the park to the Zac. Connected at several points, it transforms into a forecourt for the stadium and extends all the way from the pedestrian overpass at the A1 up to the plaza in front of the Stade de France. The aquatic center, its forecourt, gardens, access ramp and pedestrian overpass have been designed as a whole. Each of these elements possesses its own characteristics while also resonating with the others to create a balanced and dynamic composition. The aquatic arena possesses a streamlined silhouette imagined as a strong and compact form presenting a single unifying image. A wooden sculpture emerging from a green landscape, a symbol on the metropolitan skyline, underscores its values of sustainability. The stadium is entirely enveloped by a sunbreak of sinuous and dynamic design, creating an inviting space between inside and outside. This envelope creates a sheltered threshold for welcoming spectators and the extension of the building's uses, a lively forecourt providing an immense plateau dedicated to welcoming the public and directly connected to the forecourt in front of the Stade de France. The base is compact to allow room for the nature surrounding it. It communicates with the exterior spaces, allows light to penetrate and opens up perspectives. It is on the scale of the district and its minerality is linked to the ground. It is welcoming and allows the visitor to see the different sporting activities taking place inside the aquatic center. Grand perspectives have been designed for the interior, which place the different spaces and activities in relation to each other. Thus, the mixed uses are more than just the addition of functions, but rather are a vector of exchanges and encounters favoring the shared experiences, discovery, inspiration and curiosity. Sporting events inside are displayed through the facades but also take place outdoors. Football pitches for five-a-side games and the beach of the outdoor aquatic facilities are integrated into the landscape. The building has been designed to be as compact as possible to enable the development of a dense natural landscape. A great active ribbon of greenery surrounds the building and is open to the public spaces. The green strategy between a composed and a country landscape extends all the way to the plaza in front of the Stade de France. An enormous tree is planted at the spot where the pedestrian overpass lands as a symbol of the entrance to the new and very green district. 
The pedestrian overpass linking the Stade de France and the Aquatic Centre is designed in a simple and sober style. It guides, responding to the dynamics of the whole, to create a new link, place of daily life and passage. Its expression is governed by the structure balanced between the two esplanades. Its formal simplicity expresses its symbolism, which is to enable two sports facilities to exist which, facing each other, form a new entrance to Paris. The built and planted elements of the project all follow the same functional, structural and formal design logic based on a principle of harmony inspired by nature. It is from this design perspective that the entire stretched roof reaches its ultimate expression. Like a leaf, the roof combines several functions in a single form. Sheltering, filtering light, collecting rainwater, integrating technical networks and, finally, capturing the energy of the sun to transform it into the vital energy dedicated to the needs of the aquatic center. The functional, technical and spatial requirements of this roof are integrated directly into its parametric design, thereby making it possible to create a powerful and streamlined form that meets the optimal balance of these requirements. Thus, the necessary volume of the spaces in the Olympic Stadium minimizes the energy used for heating and is created through a layer of wooden beams, only 50 cm in height and a span of approximately 80 meters in a thin and spectacular skin. To minimize the quantity of required resources is to design the project placing the accent on life cycle optimization. Top priority is given to biosourced materials. The structure, made entirely of wood, helps to reduce a considerable amount of CO2 emissions compared with steel and concrete, but also locks up CO2. This includes future reuse and ensures that the CO2 will remain outside of the atmosphere for hundreds of years. Present both inside and outside, wood offers a grand continuity to the project. It invites the visitor to enter, sets the rhythm of the pathway and filters light and views. It also makes it possible to obtain rich color and softness in the spaces where it is exposed. The structural elements of the sports stadium are all made of wood, implementing a unique and unexpected system that creates the magic of the place. To economize on energy and water requires better consumption and also ensuring that 90% of the energy used comes from renewable sources of energy and from recuperation. 50% of the water consumed should be recovered and reused. Extracting value from waste products necessitates reuse by giving them a second life. All the fixed seating in the stands is made of 100% recycled plastic and collected in the region. The aquatic center is adapted to a range of temporalities. Each space has been set up to be able to guarantee multifunctionality while also being able to function totally autonomously if required. They open or close according to need, living and adapting to the different rhythms of the day, week and year. Thus, the facility adjusts to the crowds, the opening hours and can also function at different scales. The building is truly multi-purpose. The different activities, climbing, sports plateau, etc., are placed on immense open surfaces that offer future possibilities of evolving according to the development of sports being practiced. Thus, this vast space, which is further extended by temporary stands on level 2, will become a broad sports plateau after the Olympic game, which will again be made available for setting up temporary stands when level 4 competitions are organized for European or World Championships. The competition pool is designed to be multi-purpose. Equipped with two vertical bulkheads and one movable floor, it can be adapted to a broad range of practices made available to the general public, school children, competitive sportsmen and women, and of course for high-level events such as the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. More than a sports facility, the aquatic center is a lively place of urban living. It introduces the development of the neighborhood and displays the ambition of a lively, healthy and sustainable city. Designed to last, it is there to be a future part of our heritage and will forever represent Olympic excellence. Dear listeners, thank you for tuning in. Let's meet again next week for a new Kambashi in English.
And until then, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. Thanks to Julien Robourg, sound engineer, who is collaborating with us today. Don't forget to tune in to our previews on Instagram at Comme d'Archie Podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, don't hesitate to promote it by giving it five stars and a little comment on Apple Podcast or on your favorite podcast platform. And above all, subscribe to listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon. And until then, take care of yourself.